The Dover-Dunkirk train ferry was the subject of major investment on both sides of the channel in the late 1980s. French railways funded a new ship, the Nor Pas de Calais, which has a cargo capacity of 2,500 tonnes, over three times as much as her predecessor. To complement this, rail freight invested £13 million in a new berth at Dover Western Docks, including a new link span, which permits loading and unloading whatever the state of the tide. After finally easing the ship the last few yards towards its berth, the special link span sections of rail track are moved into exact position. Winches are then used to maintain the critical contact between the set of rails on board and those on the link span. Loading and unloading has to be undertaken by two locomotives moving exactly in parallel in order to avoid uneven weight distribution, which might cause the ship to suddenly list to one side. The whole process is remarkably brisk and can be completed in less than three quarters of an hour. Each locomotive normally makes two runs working in parallel to unload the fully laden ship. The wagons are then stored in the reception sidings at Western Docks before being moved to Dover Yard for marshalling. Nearly all of the train ferry traffic handled is individual wagon loads and since Speedlink no longer operates, they'll be carried forward on the new special dedicated RFD cross-channel services. As well as carrying commercial vehicles on the open top deck, any spare space on the train deck can also be used by lorries. Radio controls are used extensively as the loading procedure must follow exactly the same routine of parallel working. It's not an easy task for the drivers to accurately control the lengthy rakes of wagons as they descend the steeply graded link span sections of track. The ferry has a top speed of just over 21 knots and this allows up to four return trips to Dunkirk to be made each day, carrying a total of 120 high capacity wagons. However, at present only three sailings per day, each lasting a little over one and a half hour undertaken. Once on board, the wagons are chained to the deck and any hazardous traffic is then separated from the rest of the cargo by special steel shutters. The ship is operated by a French crew and no private passengers are carried on board other than lorry drivers. At present, the channel is extremely busy with lucrative short-haul traffic to Europe. Wagons are removed and loaded at Dunkirk by these vintage American-designed Marshall Plan locos that were imported into France at the end of the Second World War as part of the Allied rebuilding program. In the next couple of years, the capacity of the Nord Pas de Calais may well be fully stretched as new flows are required prior to the opening of the tunnel. What happens after the tunnel opens is less certain, but VR has leased space on the train deck until 1998. Also, certain traffics, especially hazardous chemicals, won't be allowed through the tunnel, and these are sure to continue to travel by ferry. Another traffic widely perceived as potentially hazardous.